The new moon is the start of the first lunar phase of the cycle, which symbolizes new beginnings. It occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth, and because it symbolizes new beginnings, it is the perfect time to reset, set new intentions and goals, to start something new, and to plan for the month ahead. Before we get into how to tap into and use new moon energy, I just want to say that you can make these rituals as detailed or as simple as you want them to be. If you only have a couple of minutes in your day to just sit and meditate, that is completely okay. I remember when I first started my spiritual journey, the new moon and the full moon would come around and if I was really busy, I would like panic and be like, I have to do something. It'd be like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., my bedtime, and I'd be like, I have to do something, it's the new moon. It's the full moon. If you don't have time, that is completely okay. If you just have time to do something really quick and really simple, that's completely okay. It happens every single month. You can always tap into the next one and you can also do it the day before or a couple of days after. The energy will still be around for you to utilize. I also have a little announcement and a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around to find out what those are. All right, let's get started. There are so many different moon tracking apps you can use, my favorite being the app iLuna. As you can see what the moon is doing every day, what sign it's in, what it means for that day, and when the moon is transferring between signs, aka when the moon is in energetic limbo. I've been using this app for years and I absolutely love it. I like to start off my new moon ritual by energetically cleansing myself and my space from the energy from the previous month. New lunar cycle means new intentions and resetting, which is why I like to start off with fresh new energy. If I have a lot of time that day, sometimes I like to take an Epsom salt bath as they're very cleansing and healing for the aura. I usually light some candles, put on some sound frequencies, and make it a nice relaxing atmosphere, and just sit and be present with myself. If I don't have that much time to soak in the tub, I will burn herbs that have cleansing properties. When I do this, I will say out loud or in my head, I let go of all energy that isn't serving me and I let go of all energy that isn't mine, making sure to cleanse my entire energy body from the top of my head all the way down to my feet. I will also cleanse my space by burning herbs or even using sound, which is a great smoke-free alternative for those who are sensitive to smoke. If you are burning herbs, start off by cracking open a window and start at the entrance of your room, working your way around it clockwise. Make sure to get into every nook and cranny if you can, as energy likes to hang out in corners. Once I've cleansed my space, I will head over to my altar. You definitely don't need an altar to do a moon ritual, but they can be made very simply with even the smallest of spaces, and they are a great place to sit down and meditate. Because spring is starting to peak its way in here, I decided to make a new altar for this month dedicated to spring and the energy of rebirth and growth. I absolutely love how it turned out, and if you wanna see a video on how to set up a simple altar, you can click the video that will pop up right up here. Once my altar space is all set up, I like to get nice and cozy, make some tea to sip on and grab my journal and get into intention setting. I focus on what energy I wanna bring in for the next 30 days, what I want the month and the next couple of months to look and feel like, and how I want to make others feel. When I'm writing these out, I'm writing them out as I am statements and as if it is already happening in the present tense to make it even more powerful and to energetically align with my goals. Once I've set my intentions, I like to sit or lie down and meditate and visualize everything that I just wrote about. The mind doesn't actually know the difference between what's really happening and what's just a thought, so I like to focus on putting myself into the feeling of being in the experience. Dr. Joe Dispenza has a great guided meditation for this that I have been loving and I've actually been doing it every night before bed. I'll link it down in the description box for you so you can go and check it out. I like to pull oracle cards for the month ahead and the deck that I usually like to use for the new moon is the Lightworkers Oracle. This deck really resonates with me in the work that I do. I like to place the cards that I pull on my altar and look at them every morning before I meditate as a reminder for the messages that I received for the month. If I ever feel like I'm drifting away from my intentions or if I feel like I need some reaffirmation from my guides, seeing those cards that I picked always spark those feelings again for me. 
Lastly, this is something new that I've been doing and it isn't part of my ritual per se, but it's something that I've kind of incorporated the day before or the day after or on the same day if I have some time whenever I feel like it and I absolutely love doing it. It is so much fun. I've been creating these little mini mood boards slash manifestation boards on Pinterest encompassing like the energy that I want to bring in for the next month. So I'll use pictures, I'll use quotes, I'll use anything that I can find and anything that I see that kind of sparks my interest. Sometimes I get a little bit crazy, go over to Canva, make like a little manifestation board background and make it my phone screen background or my computer background. And then sometimes I get a little bit even more crazy and save all the pictures onto my phone, make it into like a quick little video flashing all of the pictures to a song that I'm loving. And then I just rewatch it and I always get so inspired when I see it because I'm like, yes, that is the energy that I want to be in for the month. That is the vibe. That is the mood. I love it. I'm such a visual person and such like a sensory person. When I see things that inspire me, I'm just like, yes, I love this. Fantastic. Amazing. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Now for the fun stuff, I am going to be hosting a full moon ritual ceremony for free with my best friend on the 28th of March. It's going to be a small little gathering and we're just looking for a nice little community to get together with. So if you want to join in for that, just send me a message on Instagram and I will sign you up. It's going to be small. We're not going to have that many people. So it's going to be first come first serve, but we will have more in the future. And I look forward to meeting some of you guys there if you want to come. Also, thank you guys so, so, so much for 1K, now 1.3K. I had some videos pre-recorded, so I wasn't able to say a proper thank you in a video until now, but thank you so much. I am so grateful for everyone who takes the time to comment on my videos and watch my videos and say hey and contact me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys on Instagram so much. Please never be apprehensive about messaging me on Instagram. It literally makes my entire day, so thank you thank you thank you a huge reason why i used to love youtube so much and why i wanted to start a youtube channel was because it was kind of just having a community of people and even just feel like having a friend who was interested in the same things as me when it felt like no one around me was. And there was a time where I just loved watching people's videos because it kind of just felt like a safe relationship for me where there was no drama or there was no whatever back when I was younger. So yeah, thank you so much. It means the world to me. If you ever want to send me a message, please do. I love meeting you guys. Community is so important to me. I'm thinking about, I really want to start a Facebook group. If there's ever enough of you guys, when I'm manifesting, when there is enough of you guys who want to start a little bit of a community, I would love to start a Facebook group so we can all just chat and get to know each other and all be friends. Anyways, as a little thank you for 1K, I wanted to give away a Scoria World Quirk Yoga Mat. If you guys haven't seen my review video on this mat, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite yoga mat in the entire world. I also just so happen to now work for the company. They don't even know that I'm doing this. I'm buying this. I just, I love them so much and I know that you guys are going to love them too, but if you want to check them out, I'll link them down below. I'm going to be giving away the Universe Quirk Mat, which is the mat that I have. It is super magical. I literally feel like I'm practicing in the hands of the universe when I am doing yoga. This one's going to be open to Canada and the US only, but all you have to do is comment your new moon intention for this month down below. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and go and give me a follow on Instagram. All right, I have to be at the dentist in like 10 minutes to see if my wisdom teeth need to get pulled out. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I hope that this video helped you with your new moon rituals. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I make videos every week. Until then, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Keep radiating that good energy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.